everybody jason here happy friday we did it we made it through another week of trading so we can take a look today we're down a thousand bucks this week we're up twelve thousand this month we're up forty two thousand and this quarter we're up seventy five thousand so pretty good over the last um over the last few months here doing pretty well uh today we do have the quad witching going on so um most of that action traditionally happens like the last 30 minutes of um, the market being open um so you guys can look for that see what happens um so today we have a couple things that are expiring um, we have our calls on Coca-Cola and Gap. Those are just going to expire worthless. Um, of course, unless we have a major, major, major downside, but um, or I guess major upside on these two. Um, we have our Tilray 1250 put that we are getting us signed on, um, most likely, unless Tilray has a rip up, but I don't foresee that. Um, we definitely wanted this to happen. Um, when I opened this, it was pretty close to the money. Um, expected an assignment, and this was to lower my cost basis of the shares that I own. Um, so next week, or not even next week, we actually have uh, two more weeks. I had opened up an $11 put for next week as well. Um, I don't think we'll get a sign on it, but if we do, we're still just lowering a cost basis. And the following week, we have our $16 calls that are expiring. But once we add 100 more shares for $12.50, that'll lower our cost basis. And since we're keeping an actual track of that on a spreadsheet, we can see exactly what that is. And then we can just sell right above that price point, which will bring um, $16 somewhere around there. Um, I think it was 15 or excuse me, like, uh, yeah, 15, 15, 50, 15, 16, something like that, but it'll lower it down so we can sell some calls a little bit more, a little closer to the money and grab some more premium. Um, then Monday we do have one of our, is this Monday? No, this is, um, oh yeah, that is Monday. We have one of our broken wing butterflies expiring on the spy. And then we have uh, all our stuff that we have expiring the following week. So everything expiring next week, I'm gonna go ahead and either uh, continue to hold um, if they're pretty far out of the money and I don't think I can get good premium by rolling them out or roll them out. So we can get started right here with our Coinbase. And Coinbase is one I've I've just seen really good support at the 220 level. So you can see like the lows, 220s, 222, 225. So this is the reason I am pretty comfortable holding this and just rolling this out. Collect a little bit more premium. So we'll go ahead and sell back the one we bought oh did they fix it oh i was gonna say it didn't move it usually moves oh it's because it didn't switch from buy to sell aha uh -huh. and we will buy back yep there we go buy back the one we sold go out a couple more weeks and sell the 220 buy back the 215 and we can collect another $50 on this so let's see if we can get filled at 53 a couple dollars below what is shown just that that way it gives it gives it a little bit of room between the bid and ask there can't get filled there let's see what the new number is nope about $51. Everything seems to be reacting a little bit slowly today. Very slowly today. I swear, I have 5G. <laughs> Everything's supposed to be super fast now. Instant. Okay. 
All right, rolled that out, collected 50 bucks. There we go. That guy is gone. Dropbox, I think, has dropped. Holy smokes. This is just almost too slow to do a video here. So we have four of these guys. See if we can't roll these out. So these do not have as many expiration dates. But we have five on October. Nine there. So we'll go ahead and do those at that 35. And we had... Sheesh. Did it? What happened here? 10 1. Oh, it didn't flip over. October 8th is where I want to go. Alright. And we have. <laughs> Holy smokes, sorry about that. This is ridiculous. So we have four of those. And we'll hit continue. We'll want to roll four of those guys out. And we'll try to grab seven bucks a piece. And these are on leaps that I have. So we have a lot of time. Let's see if we can grab six dollars. And I'm happy to grab whatever. It's not like it's a huge moving stock. Can we grab 20 bucks here? I'm just going to hit done and see if that happens to get filled. Um, now we do have our Palantir $30 call and I'll go ahead and roll that guy out. So we'll buy back this one for $34. And we can go out, yeah, we can go out just another, I'm sure we'll skip a week here. About $54. It would have been nice to roll this out earlier because um, Palantir was up quite a bit. And this is a, this is either on shares, leaps, or I do have one $30 call in January. Grab a little bit less. I almost feel like I'm uh, losing money just on the fact that network seems to be really slow. But maybe today with all the quad witching, things are just pretty crazy. All right, grab $19 there. And... Now we're getting into our put credit spreads. Oh, it looks like something else may have just got filled. All right, 650s here on Tesla. Tesla, I think it's going up. Robinhood thinks it's going up. Make sure you buy shares. Let's see, we will start out, let's do these 660s, buy back these 12, sell those 12, make sure that got done right, it didn't, man, I don't even, I don't know if I need to close things, or what, okay, we're needing to sell those. Then I guess I'll wait a couple seconds. Sell these. And we'll roll these guys out another couple weeks. And I think we'll do some 680s here. 
Gosh dang it. <laughs> this is this is more frustrating. Just having the keep scrolling down. Let's see what this guy looks like. About 40 bucks a piece. Cool. 12. $34. It's not a lot of money. I'm trying to make a lot of money. Could go out. I don't want to go up anymore. I want to stick around the $700 level, even though I think it's not coming down there. <coughs> Excuse me. But I also. These also decay a lot quicker, being farther out the money. So, I'm actually, ugh, $34. I mean, I guess it's pretty wide. I'm going to put an order in for $40 here. If that doesn't get filled, whatever. <laughs> I'll do the same thing with all the other ones. Um, and then on our couple iron condors here we're up 50 percent on these and we still have 50 dollars to gain so these i think i'm gonna go ahead and hold them i mean it's another five days 10 bucks a day on a couple of them which is not too bad and then we will have our 550s And we'll get those guys rolled out as well. So buy back the ones we sold. Wait for the screen to flip. There we go. Oops. Sell back the ones we bought. Go out a couple weeks. What are they giving us here? They're 40 bucks here. Uh, 40 some dollars here. $50 here. 55. I'm gonna go out another week. There we go, 50. What I'm doing is just kind of pairing these up and looking at the differences in these two. So here we have a $65 difference for 680s. Um, and that is going to be one, two, three before I can roll them out. I don't like the premium we're getting anymore. The problem is Tesla is just staying up there. But I don't want to get outside of my comfort zone. I don't want to get into the position where Tesla does have a, a $30, $40 pullback and looks scary to the downside all of a sudden, which we all know could happen. Um, but I'm going to do some 680s here. This does have a little bit more time on it. So, oops, made the mistake of trying to move faster than, than the screen flipped. All right, so we'll go with that. And how many did we have originally? Seven. And 50, let's see if we can grab $51 a piece, $357. And I think usually I just wait a couple seconds. Today I will wait a few more just because if it's taken that long to react to my input and even changing from buy to sell, I think getting the order to Robinhood to the market maker and back to me to let it know whether or not it's happened is going to take a little bit longer. So I'm not getting filled there either. Yeah, let's try. We'll try 48, and that'll be the last one that I will stick in without, um, oh, there we go. Okay, so we get filled on that, collected a decent amount of money, 
think what we have another $700 buying power. We are pretty much even on the day and we still have um, these guys that, uh, let's see what we're we trying to get filled at 40. Let's see if we can replace that and just get them done. Come on, come on Robin Hood. Yeah, let's just take our money. <laughs> 37 bucks. This is a pretty this is pretty free money though. Like in reality when I'm moving it down that far. Um so we'll just we'll just take what we can get here. 35 bucks. Fill me. So I can move on with my day. Come on. Okay. Not filling so I can move on with my day, but we'll let that one wait, did it fill? Nope, it did not. And then I will put in so then I'll put in a couple closing orders for this. Where is our low? Yeah, I think this will end up being next week before we actually get filled on it, which is fine. We'll just put a, in a couple closing orders. So we'll do that by hitting two, hitting the gear, good tail canceled, come up here. And um, I think we had a hundred dollars. So we'll, we'll put in a closing order for $25 and get those two closed. So that's not gonna happen today. That'll happen, that'll happen next week, so oh well. We have a couple thousand dollars collateral sitting there. Um, and so that'll be it, except for these thinking guys. We were up $1,500 on them. Come on, give me. <laughs> Dang it, Tesla, you're too good. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather show you guys just like what I ended up doing. $33. Okay, $32. There we go. Got it filled. Oh, well. All right. Boom. Uh, quite a bit more buying power, which I'm just going to sit on. See if we do have some decent movement. We still have the rest of the day. We still have quad witching going on. Last half an hour is when we're going to see all the crazy movement supposedly um and then if anything crazy happens today uh, i think we go into monday and see either um if it's if it's like a major move to the downside we may see it to the upside um unless it's you know we have continued bad news then we may see some continuation monday um yeah, so I want to keep some cash handy. I did go ahead and purchase another Apple share since Apple was down uh, today. And then I also took my covered call money on Apple and used that to purchase shares. So now we have pretty much 10 shares instead of eight point something. Um, I think now we have, I mean, of course we're down on it since it did drop a little bit, but now we have 9.4, 9.94 shares of apple um down seven bucks on it but it's probably i'd rather be down seven dollars on this than whatever money that you lose by buying a phone instantly plus i didn't have to pay tax well not yet um oh last thing and sorry this thing is so long i want to look at let's look at a christmas tree play on walgreens so diego pointed this guy out it's been kind of chilling in somewhat of a zone. So it kind of looks like it is um, just hitting higher lows and staying in this trough a little bit. So we're gonna look at playing a Christmas tree. In which case, so I think $50, 50 $51 was kind of the midpoint on this so what we're going to do oh man i passed i paused my video <laughs> sorry so i'm not sure where where i where i left it but um we bought 48s we bought the 51 and we're selling 50s 
we need to click the up arrow and edit ratios um, we want to buy one of the 48 we want to sell three of the 50s and buy two of the 51s and then we can look we can look at what the profile looks like kind of like a little christmas tree here sorry if this got repeated you guys mostly know i just do this in one take don't do any editing um max profit 156 and we start to lose below 48 44 and 50 above 50 78 so um this right here as far as the limit price we're going to have to go a little bit above what they're asking and um usually probably about three dollars ish is what i'm gonna guess because we have now three options where we're going to have to either bid lower or um higher uh for for those three options so we'll see if we can get filled here at 47 dollars Probably not. We'll try one more for 48 and if not, we'll just let it go. And I'm just going to hit done. We may or may not get filled, but I think that will be the end for today. Sorry for the super long video if you guys have made it this far. Uh, and you would like to join me tomorrow during the live stream, that would be super awesome. Somewhere between 11 a.m. and 1, 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. All right, love you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great weekend. I love you guys, and let's make a lot of money.